but there's not the good healthy habits to go shape your body to make, when you look at yourself, that's the person that you want to see. They don't give you the tools or the keys or the solutions to make yourself what you want to be. You're just supposed to be happy with what's ever there. And what's ever there is like a food system that's been pumped full of preservatives. Mm -hmm. That's been your testosterone's in the toilet. Your water is filled with uh, tiny beads of plastic and no one is addressing any of that to help you try to be the person in the mirror that you would like to look and love and be able to love. Right. And so we did have a, a government official change this, and it was Michelle Obama. Um, this was one of the policies I agreed with. Um, look, I, I think the Obamas uh, as a whole, probably pretty nice people, probably pretty cool to hang out with. I didn't enjoy their policies, but I'm sure they're, they're probably pretty good people in real life. One of the, the great things she did um, was this school lunch system where they tried to incorporate healthy food inside the school system, right? Everyone, most everyone, I should say, appears to love Michelle Obama. I don't know anybody who outwardly hates Michelle Obama at all. I thought this policy she enacted for school lunches was putting people on the right path. Because my school lunches, it was fucking tots, uh, uh, those crinkle fries. The pizza that you cooked in a pan and yeah. you cut with the roller. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. This prison food. Prison food. Dirty ass fucking wings, sloppy joes. I was having the sloppy joes every single day. Like, I thought that policy was great. What I don't understand is how we went from that policy. What do they leave off? I mean, they just left office five years ago, six years ago. Mm -hmm. How do we get from there to Lizzo and body positivity this quickly where it's just like, eat whatever you want. We'll put you on the cover of a fucking magazine. You can do whatever you want. I want to throw this out there too. I've been in public school systems in poor country, podunk towns mm -hmm. and rich college towns. And I've been in private schools. The lunch and care at private school is like, it's not even comparable to what you got. In. Like, and I went and well, I that's, went what, you're, that's what you're paying for, right? But, but to think back on it now as an adult and to like visually go back there and like hold the tray in the line with the number, you're looking under heat lamps. Like it's just, it's, and who's serving it to you? The demeanor of those people. Oh it's, yeah. It's not made with love. No, <laughs> Let's put it that way. no it's made with hatred and self-loathing. That's what uh, public school meals are made with. And the fucked up thing was I loved them, dude. And that probably contributed to the way that I looked in seventh and eighth grade. Cause I was eating that shit every day. Um, God damn, dude, when it was, we had these uh, wing Fridays with just the fattiest, most disgusting wings you could possibly imagine. Pour on the blue cheese on them. Uh, let's fucking go, fam. The spaghetti, everything else, the garlic bread on top of it, making sandwiches out of all this shit, just kind of mixing it into one and making a sandwich out of it. And that's the only happiness you get for a while as some of those kids. Fuck yeah. Is all those calories and that delicious grease and probably sugar in every single <laughs> sauce that's on that. But that's the only happiness you get because you're tired all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking whole milk. Maybe it was just fucking whole milk where you're like, yeah, fuck it, let's go. Washing that down with, with two cartons of apple juice on top of it, let's fucking go. And that was your entire childhood. I don't know what it's like now. Um, most of the kids today, because I, you know, I, I take my kids to school every morning, it's usually uh, brown paper bag lunch. So I'm assuming my wife did that because of what they're serving at the public schools, <laughs> but I don't have any idea. Um, when I went into uh, lunch with them, because they'll do these father-son lunches or mother-daughter, whatever, or whatever we're calling, you know, pronouns and all that other shit too. Um, I went into one of those, and you sit down with the kids, and uh, and then you have a full lunch. You do it once a month with your kids and their friends, so that way you get to know their friends, know what's going on at school, and everything else. I would say ninety percent of them had brown paper bag lunches. Nobody was eating the fucking public school meals anymore. Um, I don't know how long that will be around for, but then again, I guess if you took it away, people would bitch that you're not feeding my children at school. Well, yeah, and you also need to employ those bus drivers during the day doing something. Yeah, yeah, I, and look, they need something to do. Uh, the bus stop's right in front of my house. Now, homegirl, uh, probably 78 years old, that hasn't changed. She hopped out of the bus. Uh, if your parent doesn't come out to the bus, because they're worried about kids getting taken and all that shit, even in nice neighborhoods, if your parent doesn't come out to the bus, they don't let your child off the bus anymore. I don't know if you know that. Um, they physically wait until uh, either a parent or a relative or somebody you've designated to pick up your child is able to walk up to the bus, say hello, wave, and then grab the child. 
somebody forgot to pick up their kid one day or they were fucking late or whatever the case was. Homegirl just got out of the bus, fired up a fucking heater, dude, in our cul-de-sac and was just smoking cigarettes outside the bus while the other kids were still on it. Miss Matthews, great lady. I miss her dearly. Um, <laughs> I was the last to get dropped off on my stop, so like sometimes she would just burn one down. And yo, like, she was cool. She was cool, and like uh, I, somebody else, they were like, "Are you gonna, are you guys angry? Are you gonna, are you gonna report her?" I was like, "Nah, dude, I don't know what the fuck she's going through." And at seventy-eight, if she wants to fire up heaters uh, while she's waiting for some dummy to get home to pick up their kids, I'm actually fine with it. I don't want her taking out the frustration on the kids in the bus, because if you're comfortable enough firing up heaters in the mid, it was a hundred and two degrees here. Uh, on that fucking hot asphalt in the cul-de-sac in Texas, I'm not fucking with you. She was driving that bus when the first Bush was in office. Oh, you're goddamn right she was. Um, and she'll probably drive it till the day she dies. And good for her, because as I was pulling out of the school this morning, they were hammering yet another sign into the ground. We're looking for bus drivers. Please help your children. So now there's a bus driver shortage as well to go on top of every, every other fucking thing that we're going through. When I see signs like that too, it's like, man, driving a bus is hard. You ever tra- you ever driven a fucking school bus? Yeah, it's all down low. You're, you don't Bro. know what you're doing. It's all under here. Yep. You got a thing right here, and you got the whole like door system. <laughs> it's a lot, man. I'm from I'm from Georgia originally, so like, I don't know that I've ever told this story. But I had this coach who said, look, if you tape all of the the women's basketball games for for uh, varsity and JV. They needed somebody to a videographer for it. He's like, I'll just give you an A. And I was like, great, I'll fucking do it, right? Uh, he used to drink right out of a, a flask. Um, not a great guy, not going to say his name just in case uh, he's still teaching and or coaching out there because uh, he was just a fucking rad dude. Uh, but one night after the, the drop-off, he goes, hey, you want to give a shot at one of these things? And I was 16 years old, so I had my driver's license. Like, that's, that's fine. Uh, and it was just in the school parking lot. It was probably... 10, 30, 11 at night, uh, girls' basketball games. You had to wait for the, the dudes to finish, and then you all kind of came back together. So it was, it was late. And I was like, yeah, I'd love to fire this thing up. And he's like, great, let's fucking do it. So I got behind, and I, I drove the fucking school bus in the parking lot. Just the turns on it alone are so shocking. I mean, it's hard to drive a fucking bus. You, that's not a skill you can just pick up overnight and trust yourself that you're going to be able to drive a school bus like Sandra Bullock in Speed. And the, it's a problem because there aren't these hard-nosed old white women who used to, like, fill bullets during World War II and then later became bus yeah, drivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't exist anymore. So now you're putting signs in the ground asking for bus drivers to help you, uh, our children uh, get to school and all that shit. And I can honestly tell you, you don't want me taking a course for fucking three weeks and then driving around 50, 60 kids uh, to and fro school. I just don't have that skill set. The ones who have it are the ones that Giorgio mentioned. The women who are filling up fucking bullets in World War II, you bet, dude. That's who you want out there. You want the fucking old guy who was in Vietnam who's seen it all, right? A car accident in front of him is not going to shake this guy. He's going right the fuck through it. That's who you want on these goddamn buses, not us. But with everything else, every other shortage there is going on in America, now we're, we're shorting bus drivers? Like, bus drivers is the new one? And the last fucking rant fest uh, to end this beautiful broadcast today will be for servers. Everybody bitched for years and years and years. Like, the minimum wage has got to get hiked up to $15. It's got to be $15. Got to have $15. Got to have $15. Everybody said, man, you'll never get someplace like Domino's to get $15. There's a Domino's by my house. On the four hire sign outside, $24 an hour is what they're offering for Domino's drivers right now. So if you're out in this world and you say that you can't find a job plus right now. Plus tips. Yeah, plus tips. You're a fucking liar. 24 uh, bucks. That probably includes tips. Uh, hold that. hold, hold like, on. That's probably what they like estimate the tips would be. I don't think it is. And here, here's why. Because I was thinking about this. I think they probably make them pay for their own gas. And that's probably what's fucking them. They probably get to keep the tips. But they got to pay for their own gas. You they, can write the gas off though, right? Wait, you do I mean, have to, yes, you can on taxes. Also, so, Domino's has those little robots now. 
Well, I, I haven't say. seen her. So where I live, I live on a, you know, 290, which is where we're, we're moving. I live off of 290, which is where our new studios are. Mm -hmm. There is no sidewalks for the little robots to go down. So I don't see those okay. hopping out in the bike lane anytime soon. I saw one, actually. Did you? Where at? Brody. On Brody. I was walking to the gym and I almost, I was looking down on my phone and I almost got smoked by Yeah, the little pink ones. So what, so what happens? And is it on the sidewalk itself or is it on the street? Sidewalk. 